So here we are in Serif Draw Plus with a page of A4 paper. We have lots of menu options that we can use around Serif Draw Plus and we'll learn about them as we go. We'll start on the left hand side though with the square tool and we will use it to draw a rectangle. We will then use the transform tool to adjust the width and the height to 100 by 50 millimeters. We'll then move that off to the side and we can see that the shape is filled with white but we can change that color to whatever color we want. Thereafter we can change the line color to a different color as well as you can see here but you can't actually see the line color that clearly because the line thickness is so thin. So let's zoom in on the object and then go to the line thickness tool and increase that where you can now clearly see the line color and thickness. So let's now move on and try and adjust the shape of this tool and we're going to use the radius of corners tool to adjust the corners so that they are curved. If you increase it to 100% it will give you a full round on that. You can actually decrease it to negative numbers so that it gives you these cutouts. It makes it look a bit like a ticket. We can then use the rotate tool by clicking uh, and holding on the rotate icon at the top of the shape. If we press and hold the shift key on the keyboard, it will rotate it in 15 degree sections. There is also the option of using the rotate tools from the toolbar to also rotate the object. That will rotate it in 90 degree sections. Let's move on now and make circles. So if we select the circle tool and we make a circle, we need to press and hold the shift key in order to create a perfect circle. Otherwise, we will get an oval shape, uh, which is known as an ellipse. Let's move on now and make a duplicate of that circle by selecting the edit menu and saying copy and then edit and then paste. I'm going to select the shape tool again and make a star and then I'm going to adjust the line thickness of the star. Now let's zoom in on it and use the node tool to adjust all the nodes going around the outside of the shape. This feature allows us to be really creative with shapes. If it has nodes, then we can adjust them to make all sorts of patterns and designs with our shapes. Now let's look at layering. So the first object we created was the rectangle. So that's at the furthest back layer. Then we added a circle and then we added the star. And you can see that they're in order here where the star is the foremost layer. But we can adjust this by using the send to back tool or the bring to front tool. And these tools are on the top toolbar, as you can see here. So now that we know how to use all these tools, let's make a few more shapes. Let's go for the happy face and we can use the node tool to adjust the happiness of our character. Let's go for the clock and we can use the node tool, as you would expect, to adjust the time of our clock. That is the hand for minutes and for hours. 